Here we are with Professor Skolnik. He's the President and General Director of Magen David Adom, and he's also a doctor, so he's very involved in this, in the health field. So can you tell us, how did you start to get involved with Magen David Adom? Well, um, unfortunately, Israel has a lot of experience with uh, um, mass casualties, wars, terrorist activities. And in my past, also in my army service, I used to work in the army, in army hospitals, in battlefield hospitals. Unfortunately, we had a lot of experience in the war in Sinai during the 73 war. And then as a doctor in the hospital, I saw the work of Magen David, you know, bringing patients in very bad conditions, but well prepared and quick. So I was very interested always to see the work in Magen David Adom. How do they get their training? How are they taught to work as they do? How do they get the experience? What makes it so specific, special? the work of the people of Magenda Vidadon. And that's one of the reasons I decided to join Magenda Vidadon and to see it from close. And uh, it was very amazing. It was very fascinating. And if you had to choose a, a unique, a singular experience that had, I don't know, a life-changing experience in Magenda Vidadon, which one would you choose? Well, yes, not one. There were many. Um, one of the cases which I cannot forget was a young guy I was in the hospital, in the emergency room, and um, I was called to run down to the emergency room because they're going to bring a young boy who was stabbed in his heart. So I rushed down, rushed down, and the moment I arrived there, they brought in the boy. He was dead. But the Magenta Beat people told me, listen, one second ago he was alive open his chest and that's what I did. I had to open his chest and you know find the hole in the heart and st stick in the finger and started to pump this heart with blood and with fluids. Now this boy is a man today, he's healthy but you know it was very exciting but you know the way that they brought him and you know that the wisdom telling me listen it can't be too late because a minute ago, a second ago, he was alive, tried to do maybe open his chest, and I didn't think twice, and that's what I did, and that's the way we could save his life. So, as you can see, the mother people, Magenda Vida Dom people, you know, volunteers, and, uh, of course, also the uh, workers of Magenda Vida are very well trained. And that's one of the reasons that uh, mother people are being invited to other countries to teach other countries to show them the experience of Magen David Adom. You know that Magen David Adom is uh, helping to build emergency medicine systems in countries like Sri Lanka, Azerbaijan, in, um, in, in uh, other countries, in Indonesia. Can, can you understand that MADA is working with Indonesians, which is, you know, the most Muslim country which exists today. Mind you, there are no relations between Israel and Indonesia, but Magen David Adom is there and helping them, and we have very good relations. And so it's in many other countries. We like to share our experience with others because we have the experience, unfortunately, but we can help others, and that's what we are doing. You made me cry with that boy's story. <laughs> it's very, very impressive and awe-inspiring. And last but not least, uh, what desire what is your greatest desire for MADA from now on? Well, the desire is that we should be busy with bringing children to the world, you know, helping women give birth in the ambulance. That's actually the worst case that we have. Um, but the um, thing is that we should be, as I say, which is most important today in our times and the situation around us, that we shall be prepared and that we should be able to do all the tasks that we may have to do and, um, and of course, get the help of our friends around the world. That's something that we need very much. And thanks to this help, we can continue and be still one of the best emergency medicine systems in the world.